Good morning, guys. Uh, I don't know what day it is. It's kind of all running together. Um, Monday, maybe? It's like a big blur. <laughs> but if you did see Sunday's video on my main channel, on the DIY channel, I finally redid my makeup vanity area and I built my vanity from scratch. Could not be more proud. I like I patted myself on the back a couple of times because that was my first time ever building something from wood or cutting wood or just trying something new. And it always kind of gives me like so much energy and excitement when I do something new. So here is the new makeup vanity area. You guys, I built this like I built it, the drawers, and I put the tracks on the drawers to make them fit and slide. And I put these little dividers so it holds, Kins is going crazy, so it holds all of my makeup. I'm actually gonna make more of these little dividers so that they, you know, kind of separate it out a little more. And I built all of these like DIY floating shelves, kind of like a DIY floating shelf hack where you put the brace upwards instead of down so that it kind of gives the illusion that they're floating. And it just kind of makes the whole room look more put together. That corner was so bad, so hideous. It was just, it just didn't go. So I kind of felt like it was the perfect time to give a makeup tutorial. It's it might be one of my most asked questions on my main channel if I have a makeup tutorial, if I would do one like specifically on like my eyeshadow because I am a little more bold with my eyes, but in a neutral way. So let's get started. I have worked out and showered and kind of got somewhat dressed so I look like a decent human being. Oh, my hair is not cooperating today. It's like my hair is so layered that I want to do this like French braid, but it just like all falls. So we might have to redo it, but I'm gonna get it out of my, my face for now. First thing I start with just like prepping my skin, my skincare, so to speak. So I've been using this Ultra Repair Wild Oat Hydrating Toner um, first. So that's the first thing that I'll do um, to just kind of like prep my skin and I'll just use a little pad and then focusing on my cheeks and my forehead. I have seen a huge improvement in like the tone of my skin, like um, the coloring of my skin. I used to get really, really, really pink in my cheeks and I feel like it's not as pink now. So I do that and kind of let it dry. At night, I use a serum from First Aid Beauty 2. Next, I have been using this moisturizer for like maybe eight or nine months now. It's the It Secret Sauce and I love it. Especially as I get older, I just wanna make sure that I don't get any like deep set lines and wrinkles and I just feel like it's so moisturizing for my skin and it um, doesn't feel greasy at all. For years and years and years when I did my makeup, um, I would always do my face and foundation and all of that first and then I would do my eyeshadow and then I realized or I was watching a tutorial one time that I always had this somewhat of a little bit of a fallout from my eyeshadow and one day I went to work and it was like still on my face because you're ready for work and you just like run out of the house and it was like I had like dark circles under my eyes and it was the fallout from the eyeshadow so a few years ago I actually switched the way that I do it and I work on my eyes first so I do my eyebrows and my eyeshadow and then I go back with my found like I don't wear foundation but I go back with like my face makeup like my concealer and then go back up to my eyes and finish up with like eyeliner mascara so i feel like that works a lot better for me um i look a little crazy in the process because i've got all this eye makeup on but no foundation you know what i mean um so while my moisturizer is really like drying i work on my eyebrows i just start by brushing out my eyebrows first just with like a basic um eyebrow brush just to see their natural shape and I pretty much keep my eyebrows like really natural. I use a couple of things. I kind of flip back and forth. I have the Glossier Brow Flick in what color do I use? I use blonde um, because the brown is like too dark for me. Um, I like this a lot. And then sometimes I am, I don't know, I'm changing it up. And I really like this Sephora Crayon Brow Pencil. And it's in color, it's waterproof and it's in color Nutmeg Brown. I really like it because you can get the tip really flat by like pressing it on down on something hard, so it makes like fine, really fine lines. You just kind of move your pencil down to like a really like stubby, and then you just take something flat and you press down on it, 
and it makes it super flat on the top so it makes um like a harder corner like a, a straighter corner so it makes those like fine hairs and i just start here just defining and filling in any areas where i lack a little bit of hair i don't ever want them too dark either so i feel like i fill in the most underneath to make it kind of more um shapely you guys this is the first time i'm doing my makeup at my new vanity and i love it and then just kind of brush it out after. So you can see the difference between my two eyebrows. You see how this is like a lot less full underneath. And then this one is more like straight across and a little more shapely. And then I just do the same thing on the other side. And then I just get them to where they look like they're not gonna look identical, obviously. They kind of look like sisters. And then I really like to use a brow gel, Anastasia, and it's just a sample that I have, but it's just like clear brow gel. When I run out of the sample, I'm, I'm definitely going to buy a full version because I really like that it kind of makes my eyebrows look a little wet in the process, which I really like, um, and like a little bit dewy, but it just kind of makes it stay in place. I have a tendency to rub my face sometimes and i just like mess up my eyebrows and it looks a little crazy really recommend a brow gel now my moisturizer is all um dry and really set in so i can move on to my eyeshadow and i actually cleaned all of my brushes yesterday because it had been a minute and i really needed to do it um so for my eyeshadow i used three brushes two of them are elf and one of them is from a kylie palette so this one's from the Kylie palette. These two are e.l.f. And you can see that kind of went more of a puffy blending brush. And then the middle one is just kind of like a stubby also blending brush for your eyebrows. But this one is more flat on the tip. And that's to you. I use that underneath my eyes on like waterline underneath. Um, so these are the only three that I use. Most of the time when you guys ask about my eyeshadows, um, I'm using this Tartlet palette and it's the tartlet in bloom palette and it's just like a great neutral you can see that i've used these two colors quite a lot but the colors that i use the most are all three of these on this side and then these three here and then the darkest one on the corner so i use charmer flower child funny girl smarty pants sweetheart firecracker and leader the most and there's one other palette that i like to incorporate sometimes if i want a little bit more of a color when i'm not going for like a neutral look i use this young wild and cruelty free unleashed palette i really like it too because it has some really like jewel toned colors i start my eyes in the crease i use this more puffy brush from my kylie palette and i'll link all of the products that i use and then the brushes this is i can find a similar brush brush to this and then all of the products um so that you guys can check them out in the description if you want to incorporate them into your own makeup routine i use kind of like a combination and i don't know why i do this but i mix my eyeshadow colors i think it's just the uh a creative part of my brain being like i want my own color i don't know why i do that it's very strange so for the crease i'll use smarty pants this one here and rebel and just a little bit of rebel because i don't want my crease too dark kick off some of the excess put it a little, little bit of rebel just a little bit and then going right into the crease i want to start in the corner outside corner so that it's not so dark on the center and just lightly blend in the corner. And you're gonna go up on your brow bone and then a little bit down on your lid. Okay, so you can see it's kind of like just in the crease and it's not crazy. And I'm just gonna go in circular motions just trying to get it all blended well. I'm always nervous. Like if I show you guys a tutorial, I'm always gonna do like my makeup wrong or like it's not gonna turn out because you know, sometimes that happens. Sometimes I'm like, man, I'm just not having a good makeup day. Next, I do my full lid starting from the outside corner working my way to the inside. I start with my darkest color. So I go with leader here in the corner using the same brush. I use the same brush on my whole lid. First pat right on the corner and then blend just trying to get the majority of the actual eyeshadow on my lid before i start to like blend it in 
and then sometimes it's just not too not dark enough and I go back for more and you just want it right in the corner I'm not even going all the way to the center of my lid and then you do the same thing on the other side oh my god you guys you know what's funny you know how I just said that um I was gonna mess up I totally messed up I, I skipped a step and that was my SPF and I use SPF every day and I don't wear on foundation because I do use the CC cream by Supergoop. I love it. I've used it for maybe six or seven years and I use it in the light and medium. And it acts kind of as like an overall help with my skin tone and SPF 35. So it keeps it me from burning because that's the best thing that you could do for your skin is to not sunburn. So usually put this on after I even start my eyebrows or anything right after my moisturizer, but of course. You know, I told myself that I was going to try not to mess up, but there you go. But I just put a dollop, kind of like a dime size, and just rub it in all over my face. And it blends in really well. You just want to make sure that you're going down on your neck so you don't have any weird creases. And I find when I wear this, I don't need foundation. I probably haven't worn foundation in maybe a year and a half i feel like the only time that i actually do use foundation and when i do i have i use the laura mercier flawless foundation um i really do love it it's super lightweight and um it covers really well i feel like the only time i use it is when i have um like a lot of blemishes or i'm breaking out really bad um i'll tend to want like a little bit of extra coverage just because i'm a little insecure about my skin um so i'll wear that but normally this is like my normal kind of skin tone. Um, and I find like this does the job, so I don't need anything like that. Okay, we, we're just gonna ignore that misstep. <laughs> okay, so now that I've got the corners in, I do the center of my eye. So right in the center of the lid. I like to use metallic, so I use this guy here. It's Firecracker using the same brush. I just go in and go right in the center, kind of blending that darker line as well as I go like more towards the center of my eye. I'm not even going to corner of my eye on the inside. I'm just doing the center. Really subtle. I don't want like over metallic, but if you wanted a more like intense metallic, you can, instead of using a brush, you could actually use your finger um, and it just makes it a little more like, if that makes sense. Um, so, and then in the corners of my eye on the inside, I use metallic too. And I use this funny girl and it's super pretty and light and like, um, silvery metallic, but it's kind of more champagne-y. So using the same brush, I'll start off with the blending brush. And if I find that it's like not pigmented enough, if I want it a little more intense, I'll go back with my finger and I'll show you guys what that looks like. Finger and rub it on there and then pat. And then just makes it more pigmented. And I feel like it looks really pretty with metallics the most. I use a blend of Charmer and Flower Child blending brush, not the flat one, just like a regular, not so fluffy eyeshadow brush. Mix the two together and basically I'm I'm gonna blend up on my eyebrow bone here and I, my, my brow, my eyebrow, brow bone, that was weird. Um, and I'm blending that crease up and highlighting underneath my um, eyebrows. Um, so I just take that starting on the outside. You could also use highlighter on your brow bone. It'll like even brighten it even more if you really want that look. Final step is my waterline underneath. So I'll use this flat brush and we'll use the same colors that we used on our lid, but underneath. So I'll first start in the corner with the darkest one and going right along that tear line, just kind of blending in the dark. I find that it makes my makeup look more complete when I actually put some eyeshadow underneath my eyes. And then I use some of the metallic from the center, blend that, and then finally the lighter silver metallic in the corner. Next is concealer. And I use Laura Mercier, and I probably use the lightest one that they have. It's 1C. And I use a Laura Mercier Ultra Longwear Concealer. Hold on, I'm gonna go wash my hands really quick. After doing all of that like eyeshadow on my hands, I tend to get it like all over my fingers and I need my fingers to do my concealer. So, and I need to make sure that there's no fallout. So I just take a fluffy brush 
and kind of get all the excess eyeshadow off of my face before I do the concealer. I don't use a lot of concealer. If you actually look at your face, sometimes you don't actually need concealer on the outside of your eye. So like if I was to just go like this, I don't actually need concealer here. A tip that I learned from I don't know who is warming up your concealer with your fingertips actually makes it a little more easy to um, blend into your skin and have it absorb it. So instead of using the wand and putting it directly on my face. Sorry guys, I was just asking a question. Yeah. So I just use my fingertips and I wipe it along one side, getting the actual concealer on my finger. And then I go starting in the center of my eye, I just pat it onto my under eye area. And I rarely go past halfway underneath my eye. Sometimes I use a different finger and I just blend it with my fingers. So see, I didn't really need concealer on the other side, but you can see what a difference it makes from like this side to this eye. It's like a huge difference because most of our dark circles start from the inside of our eye. I'll also use concealer on any like blemishes that I have. Like if I find that I have any like weird, like kind of like here, I'll just kind of put some in here. Next, instead of using foundation, I do use a powder and I use this Sephora powder and it is a micro smooth baked face compact in medium beige number 25 um, it's the force sephora collection and i use a fluffy brush like this this one's elf too and i just sweep it very softly all over my face nothing crazy hi kinsley hi are you gonna say hi hi baby okay so after that, I move on to bronzer and blush. So for bronzer, I have been using this for years too. I use the Bobbi Brown palette and it's a shimmer brick compact. And it's super beautiful because it has a highlighter, blush, and bronzer all in one. So it kind of creates this nice kind of ombre effect of the products that you need. So I take a brush like this, a short stubby bronzer brush. This one's from Tarte. I actually love this brush and it's like really beautiful. And then I rub it in just like that, kicking off the excess. And then starting from my hairline, I go down because I want the majority of the product to be back towards my hairline, not in the middle of my face. So I go like this. So you can see that it's just kind of like soft bronzed, but also kind of like varied in different products like the highlighter and the blush. So after that is on, I like to put on a little more color most days. Um, and I really like this cloud paint from Glossier. And this is color beam. And it's really pretty. Like they have different colors and you can pick which one looks really good with your skin tone. Um, I find that this one has like just like the perfect amount of like yellow in it. And I have like really yellow undertones. And this stuff goes along. Like I feel like this will last me forever. Way too much. And then I put it right onto my finger like that and then just dab it right here on like the apples of my cheek the highest point and then I just blend it in see it's just a little a little bit of color I like to look alive <laughs> I don't know why but I always get this side more then my face is done. I just go back up to my eyes with eyeliner and eye mascara. Um, so I love this eyeshadow. Oh, eyeshadow. I love this eyeliner from Tardis. And it has a liquid on one side. And then on the other side, it has a pencil one. I've never used the pencil one. I've never used that. Maybe I will one day. Always use the liquid and I freaking love it. I always do like a little bit of a wing. Oh God, guys, I'm nervous because <laughs> I don't know if I could do this on camera, uh, but I start a little over halfway inside on my lid and then work my way out. I feel like that's the easiest way for me to put on eyeliner. So I just start, oh, that made me nervous. Okay, something like that. I have such blonde brown eye eyelashes that I feel like eyeliner makes my mascara just like that much more powerful because I love a good lash. Ooh, that made me nervous. Okay, I feel like eyeliner is like the hardest part about makeup. Comment if you agree with me that it is the hardest. Okay, after that, we just have like two more steps. Okay, mascara and curling my eyeliner. I, I'm, 
why can't I talk? What's going on? Curling my eyelashes. So I just use a crimper, obviously, and curl my eyelashes, starting from the inside, working my way out. And for mascara, I've been using this one for years too, guys. I love it. I've switched to other ones and I always come back to it. It's the Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir mascara i feel like it makes my eyelashes the fullest and most intense um so just starting in the corner so this is with on the top and then this is off and i just feel like mascara totally changes totally changes the game and then the bottom and then i love this stuff this glossier cherry bomb.com and i totally lost the top of it Ugh, i don't know where that went but i feel like it gives my lips like some a little bit of nice color and it smells so good last step is the stay spray from tarte and i always feel like my makeup stays so much better when i actually use it spritz a little bit and that is all that i do for my kind of every day this is the most that i ever do <laughs> I have like kind of like a, um, a every every day like kind of if I want just a little bit of makeup I want to look a little put together but I don't want any eyeshadow or anything so if you guys are interested in that kind of routine I'll kind of work it into a another vlog or something if you want to like leave a comment let me know I hope you enjoyed it I hope this answered your questions I you guys always ask about my eyeshadow so this is like a great neutral eye that I kind of always go to and I do blend a lot of neutral colors but I feel like it works really well so you can kind of see my makeup in the daylight it looks really pretty like really soft but like put together also an update is I have been doing the Chloe Ting workout which I mentioned to you guys in a couple vlogs and I am on day nine today and I've been filming the whole thing so I'm gonna do like a complete like overview of like what I think and the inches and the weight that I lost and all of that so that's gonna be next week's vlog on Tuesday so if you don't already subscribe to my vlog channel definitely subscribe I've been loving doing vlogs for you guys it's just a different way for us to connect outside of like my DIY tutorials and my main channel so I hope you guys enjoyed this video I think I'm gonna sign off now because I think that sign off like i'm doing like some radio show i think that the makeup tutorial was quite long so i'm not sure but i hope you guys have a great day and a great rest of your week it's kind of like sundays i'll see you on the main channel tuesdays i'll see you on the vlog and then the rest of the week i'll see you guys on instagram and if you don't follow us on instagram i'll leave our handles below so that you guys can uh yeah and i hope you guys have a great day bye guys where's your baby where's your baby where's your baby Oh,